hello and welcome to my channel today i'm going to teach you how to make a four piece puzzle in powerpoint this video is going to be in two parts the first part is going to have this we're going to learn how to make a simple simple um jigsaw puzzle like what you have here and then the next part we learn how to do this okay so let's do this i'm going to get a new presentation a blank presentation and we're going to get to work so what do we need to do to do this we need to go to insert go to shapes and pick a rectangle <coughs> pick a rectangle and hold your shift key down before you draw it that allows you to get the perfect shape okay so I hold my shift key down and I draw so this is the perfect square I have gotten I've gotten this and the next step is to go back to your shapes now go to shapes and pick a rectangle again but this time draw a square as little as this and then go back and get a circle Hold your shift key down and draw so you get a perfect one okay now select both of them go to format and then align and align center so they are together then go to format once again merge shapes and go to union and they are one now duplicate this so you have two of them all right so I'm going to come over here to format, go to align and um, go to align and um, sorry, go to rotate and I'm going to flip, rotate it left 90 degrees and bring it here. Okay, now select the big square. And the little shape in there come over to format go to align right now and align it to middle that ensures that it's in the middle of your square okay so that has been done the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to my format once again merge shapes and I'm going to subtract that has been taken care of it's gone all right, so next is pick this one and bring it over here. Now, hold your control key down and select both of them. Go over to align once again and align to center. Okay, so once that is done, go to merge shapes and click on union and you have it there. Okay, so now that you have this piece of the puzzle, what do you do? All you have to do now is to duplicate it. Okay, so Control D and duplicate it. Rotate and fix it there. That's it. Okay, Control D and rotate over here. Control D once again and rotate it. And your puzzle is done. This is it. This is a four-piece puzzle. It's as simple as this. Very simple. Okay. So all you have to do right now is to perhaps beautify it. So you can go change the color. So click each one. Go to shape fill. And pick a different color for it. For each of them. Okay. Pick different colors and you're done all right you can also select all of them and go to shape outline and pick no outline take out the outline and you can still select all of them and go back to shape effect and pick a preset okay let's see pick a preset I'm going to change the color of my background so you see what I am doing right now. Okay, so let me change the color of my background. Okay, good.
good that is done all right so this is what i have here i can duplicate this right now okay let's see what colors um we can change the colors you can go to shape effect and use different presets for it or you come down to right here to bevel and pick the one that works for you there are different designs over here so you pick what works for you and you are done okay now the next thing is this if you want something like what i have here like the cupboard handsome and all of that like what i have here all you have to do is come over here go to insert and insert the text box okay so i have cup here okay and make it bold increase the size okay and then Control D and bring this here or add another text box and type this and it's done okay this is it okay I can add more text boxes and um, come right here and type the same thing and okay make it bold increase the font size all right and duplicate this and bring it over here s o m e and i'm done with this okay now if you notice when you move this the text is left behind so what do you do what do you do you select everything select the puzzle piece and um, hold your control key down and select the text and control g you can group them you group them and they are together as one okay So when you move them, they move together. And if you are afraid that um, your students might in, in a bid to move this around, go click on it mistakenly, okay? You can do something else. You can just pick each one of them, cut, right click, and um, cut, then paste it as picture. So that way, they won't be able to do anything to, to the text. Everything is intact. Okay, so this is how to create a simple four-piece jigsaw puzzle. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add images to your jigsaw puzzle. Okay, so go give it a try and let me know how it went.